different. It's a little cloudier and it's been a little colder the last day or two since I last talked to you, but it's still a beautiful spring day. There's clouds in the sky, which is great because we need the moisture for our soil and our plants. And uh, it's good for all the animals and the insects and the flowers and our whole city is going to benefit from the water that springtime produces. Anyway, we're going to start with the calendar because we always do and I don't have on my overalls today because we're going to do a little hike later on up Neff's Canyon and uh, so I had to have on my hiking clothes. But I'm still wearing green, it's my favorite color, so I have a green coat on and we're going to do the calendar. Yesterday, we It was, we did the calendar <laughs> and Sunday was Easter and that was the 12th. And then Monday was the 13th, a one and a three. Tuesday was what? If Monday's a one and a three, what's Tuesday? A one and a four. 4, 14, and then what's today, or yesterday was a, it comes after 4 if you're counting, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, same with our two digit numbers, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, or maybe you could say 15, it makes a little more sense. Those first single digits are just repeating themselves again. One, two, three, four, five, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then 16. Today is April 16, a one and a six. Calendar's kind of fun because you start to see that pattern. It's pretty awesome. When we get to the 20s, you guys can guess what happens when we start with a two and then what's gonna come next all the way up to 30. Be thinking about that. So today is April 16. And look, the sun's poking through. It's gonna be another beautiful spring day. So last time we talked, we read a book yesterday about, are you a butterfly? And of course we decided we were not butterflies because our parents did not look like that. So what are butterflies? We're humans, butterflies, we're not butterflies, but what are butterflies? Are they mammals? Hmm, let's see what mammals have. They have warm blood, fur or hair, live baby, babies, and they nurse their babies. We're mammals, but is a butterfly? Nope, they don't have any of those things. Let's see, is a butterfly a bird? What do birds have that no other creature has? I'm gonna let you think about it for a sec. What makes a bird a bird? Hmm, it's not their feet, we have feet. It's not their beak. Well, we kind of have a beak, we have a mouth, but it's not really a beak. Um, it's not their wings, because butterfly have wings. Lots of different animals have wings. What makes a bird a bird is feathers. So butterflies are not birds, because they don't have feathers. Are they fish? Do they swim around in the water? Nope. Are they amphibians? Do they start their life in the water and then crawl out on land? They're not amphibians. Hmm, are they like a snake? Do they start in an egg? They do do that. And then do they crack open and have scaly skin? Hmm, they do have scales all over them. That's interesting. So that's kind of two things that butterflies have in common with reptiles. But they're not cold blooded. So and let's see, what else do reptiles have? Scaly skin, they lay eggs, they're cold-blooded. 
So what actually is a caterpillar? You know what they are? They're insects. Incredible insects. Look at that. There's a butterfly right on this little book about incredible insects. So what makes a butterfly an insect? Anybody know? It's kind of cool. Insects have three body parts. They have the head, which is right there. They have the thorax. And then they have this great big part, which is the abdomen. They also have six legs. And they have two antenna. Remember how we talked about in metamorphosis, the caterpillar goes from 18 or 16 legs to six, and then they grow their feelers. Well, that's why a butterfly is an insect. You know what are some other insects? Ladybugs. All insects have a hard covering called an ecoskeleton. This protects their soft insides. And look at this. This is, shows you the animal kingdom on our planet, the world's animals. There's 10% of birds and mammals and reptiles and amphibians. And the other 90% are insects. So on our planet, there's more insects than anything by, gosh, 90%. Insects are the most kind, common kind of creature on Earth. 90% of the world's animals are insects. That's super cool. Did you guys know that? That's a lot, a lot, a humongous amount of insects. Insects are very adaptable. What does adaptable mean? Hmm, what do you guys think adaptable means? Let's see if we can think about that, adaptable. I think that means they get used to new surroundings very quickly. They can change to fit whatever environment they're in. Insects are very adaptable. They live in hot places and cold places. They live in trees and on the ground. Some even live in the water. Splash! Insects have, a key, have keen senses that are different from any other animal. The eyes of a horsefly have thousands of tiny lenses. The ears of a katydid are its legs. Well, that's crazy. I never knew that, did you guys? Look, there's the Katie did, and there are the ears and legs. That's crazy. Could you even imagine walking around on your ears? I don't think that would work very well for us. Many insects are social animals. They live and work together in large groups called colonies. One of one bee colony can have up to 80,000 bees. Monarch butterflies migrate. They travel to warmer places in the fall. So that's what we're talking about are the butterflies. They can fly all the way to Mexico. Probably can't do that right now because nobody's traveling. We're all staying safe and sound. Butterflies are beautiful, and some are very, very big. This one has a wingspan of half a foot. Oh, look at that beautiful one. And some are super strong. Ants can cart things that are 50 times their own weight. That would be like Teacher Terry carrying a car. Have you ever seen me in the parking lot walking around carrying Earl? That's the name of my car, Earl. Nope, I certainly couldn't carry Earl. But an ant can carry something that much bigger than itself. That's kind of crazy. Termites can build homes that are as tall as a house. Look at that crazy termite house. There 
there are more than one million different kinds of insects. That is nuts. So we now know that butterflies are insects. They have a head, they have a thorax, and then they have a big abdomen. Incredible insects. I have this really cool book about butterflies. And we're gonna read this one too. There are 15,000 different types of butterflies and moss. That's a lot. Can you see that butterfly outside the window? Right there. Let's turn the page and see what happens. Oh, look at all those. And moss and butterfly are cousins. Moss fly at night and they're attracted to the light. So moss and butterflies are not the same, but they're cousins. Butterflies have six legs, four sets of wings. So two plus two gives you four wings. They have two sets, so four wings. And they have two antenna. Do you remember what they do with the antenna from our book earlier in the week? They smell with those. It's the only insect in the whole world that is partially covered by multicolored scales. So that's kind of crazy. Look at all those little scales. I'll turn the page and you'll be able to see it better. Rows and rows of scales create superb colors and designs on a butterfly. So here's the tricky part. If you are trying to observe or look at a butterfly, don't touch their wings. That's what butterfly nets are for. Because if you pick up a butterfly, your little fingers, even if you're being super, super careful, can, can rub off their wings all those little scales on their wings. Without the scales, butterflies can't fly. So remember, never pick up a butterfly. Get a butterfly net and then you catch the butterfly with the net and then you look at it closely, don't touch it, and then you let it go about its business. Do you remember another super cool thing about butterflies? What do they use their tongue for? Anybody remember we talked about us using something similar to what butterflies have? It's their tongue. Butterflies have a proboscis or tongue and it acts like a vacuum for food. So it, here's the butterfly's mouth and look how far out the tongue comes. The tongue can go all the way down to the middle of the flower and suck up the nectar. That's pretty amazing. The butterfly eyes are made up of tiny facets that are extremely sensitive to movement and color. It's important that butterflies can see color because that's how they get their food by looking at all the beautiful flowers. Look at Maddie's flowers over there. She's got yellow and she's got red and she has pink. So butterflies are attracted to all those colors. They have three pairs of super muscular legs that are attached to their thorax or chest. The front feet search for food, sweet foods and the organs on its hind feet help the butterfly taste the nectar. Who knew that butterflies were so complex? The butterfly can smell with the two antenna on the top of its head. What else happens? Butterflies only mate with their own species. When a male and a female want to mate, so here's one kind of a butterfly, here's the exact same. So a monarch butterfly only mates with a monarch, and a morning cloak only mates with a morning cloak, and a painted lady butterfly only mates with a painted lady. Butterflies place the tips of their abdomen together. There's the mommy, there's the daddy, and they touch their abdomen.
abdomens together. And then, what happens next? Oh my gosh. After carefully choosing a plant, the female can lay 300 eggs. That's a three digit number. A three and a zero, zero, 300. And then we know what happens after that. Four days later, caterpillar pops out. We know what they do, right? They eat. And then they eat and they eat and they eat until they form their chrysalis. There's the chrysalis. And then we know what happens after that, huh? The butterfly flies from flower to flower in search of nectar. There it is, right there. Look at those bright, beautiful flowers. Butterflies carry pollen from flower to flower. That helps all the flowers make more flowers. It helps them reproduce. So butterflies are super, super important to our world. They help make flowers go from one yard to another. Ooh, can you guys look for the hidden butterfly? Look closely, where is that butterfly? Butterflies are super, super good at camouflage. That means they can hide from their predators. I bet you guys can find that butterfly. You just look for the butterfly wings. Is it this? Or do you think maybe it's that one? Let's see. Oh, there it is. The king of camouflage. It can disappear in thin air. So that's what it looks like on the one side. And then if you go back, oh, it's totally camouflage. Butterflies are super, super cool. I wish we were in class and we could all do this together and I could see all the amazing things you guys have created during metamorphosis. Here are some of the butterflies. Which one do you like the best? Can you guys see those? I don't know, that's a really hard choice. I might have to go with the green one, though. What else do you notice about those wings? Who knows the word we've been talking about? When one half matches the other half. Here's a dot, there's a dot. Here's a black line, here's a black line. A dot, a dot, ooh, here's some red, here's some red. Look at this one, it looks like a tiger. It's actually called a tiger moth. That wing looks just like that wing. What's the word Teacher Terry's looking for? I know you guys know. They're symmetrical. One half matches the other. So, so cool. This is the smallest butterfly in the world. It's called the pygmy blue. It's teeny, teeny, tiny. Pretty cute though. I don't know if we would even see that. This butterfly has the longest tongue. Well, actually, that's a moth. Look how far that tongue goes. It doesn't even have to land on the flower. Its tongue can shoot all the way down. What are some cousins to butterflies? <gasps> Dragonflies are cousins. A cicada is a cousin. Even a ladybug is a cousin. They're all insects, super cool. So we, all my stuff's blown away because it's outside on a spring day. And look, these butterflies decided to fly away. Here's one. Here's one, two. And here's one, three. And then of course we have our metamorphosis it blew out of the tree and this metamorphosis is in there and that's our whole life cycle of the butterfly I think it fits in Maddie's tree perfectly it's got all these beautiful leaves red and green around it it's right where a butterfly should 
be doing metamorphosis. Now, for art today, your parents are gonna love me. So, Teacher Terry has a glove on because I'm someplace where I can't wash my hands. But you guys can just use your hand and your fingers. So, I'm gonna choose, hmm, where is the lid for that black brown? I thought I had this all set up. Well, I'm gonna stick this down there. And that's gonna be the body of my caterpillar. Right there. It's kind of funny painting on uh, rubber gloves because it doesn't stick as well as when it's on your own hand. Remember last time we used our fingers? We made those cute little caterpillar patterns. Well, today we're gonna do something different. We're gonna use our whole hand. So, I'm gonna put, ooh, I'm gonna make this finger this color. There we go. And the next color I'm gonna use is yellow. So I'm doing a pattern again. This is gonna be a four color pattern. I'm gonna put my yellow right there. And then, there's the brown. Then I am gonna use black. There's lots of caterpillars that have black on them. Ooh, look how well the black shows up. And then, very last, it's hard for me to tell if this is pink or orange. It's pink. I'm gonna use the pink one. The orange is over here, or the red. There. So I have my whole hand done. And then, try to do it without getting paint all over Maddie's picnic table. I'm gonna put it down on this piece of paper. Oh, push hard. Oh, look at that, so cool. Now I'm gonna do it again. Do you guys remember how many legs a caterpillar has? We've been talking about those legs. 16, which means I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have to do eight more. Four plus four is eight, and then eight plus eight is 16. And that means I gotta put a few more color, a little more color down here. What colors did you guys choose? And what's your pattern? Can you figure out Teacher Terry's pattern by looking at it? I'm gonna hold my fingers up while you guys work on figuring out Teacher Terry's pattern here. Whoa! The wind got us. That's okay. Uh, now I need the black. What's Teacher Terry's pattern? It's kind of a tricky one because there's four of them there. There's the last one. Oh, my caterpillar flew away. Caterpillars can't fly. Not until they go through metamorphosis and become butterflies. So, so I'm gonna put it down again on my piece of paper. Ooh, I'm kind of running out of space. And then I might have room if I squish them all together. There is my caterpillar. And it's made with your sweet little hands. So fun. Then you're going to take your color and I was going to put it on the green caterpillar or the green butterfly because that's my favorite color. But I got a lot of paint on there. Well, I'll do it anyway. So I'm going to take that caterpillar hand and put it on a butterfly wing just like the one you cut out before when you were doing your symmetrical one. 
Ah, uh, didn't show up very well. But you're gonna put it there, and you're gonna put it there, and there, and there, and then you will have a caterpillar and a butterfly with your special hands. Teacher Terry doesn't get to see you or hug you or hold your hands like we do lots of times when we're on our spring walks. But know that I miss you and I love you and I think about you all the time. I hope you're getting outside in this beautiful spring weather. I hope you're reading lots of awesome books and you're getting to spend a lot of time with your family. So next week, we are gonna see if our caterpillars are in their chrysalis. What do you think? Remember, it takes two weeks for those caterpillars to grow big enough to go into their chrysalises. Hopefully, next Monday, which is the next time I will see you, we will get to see chrysalises. Annie's doing the progress on how fast the caterpillars are growing, so I can't wait to see what happens on Monday. Have a great weekend and do some fun things. Look for butterflies. Okay, Teacher Terry loves you, Maddie loves you, Stephanie loves you, Nikki loves you, and Annie loves you. Bye guys.